Hello and welcome to this video to on video. using a position to term formula. And what I mean by that is how we can generate a sequence using some particular expression in terms of n. Now what n represents is the position in the sequence. So if I had a sequence, for example, 2, 3, 4, 5, for example, then although the term itself is 2, that's the first term in the sequence and that means that n would be 1 because n is the position in the sequence. This is the second term, so although the term itself is 3, the position in the sequence is 2. So if I wanted the second term, n would be 2, n would be 3 here, etc. And that would be applicable to any sequence. So n represents what position you are in the sequence. So let's say that we wanted the first term of this sequence with formula 3n plus 4. What term would we get? Well, the nth term is 3n plus 4. So the first term, n here is 1. It would be 3 times 1, 3 times 1, plus 4. And 3 plus 4 would be 7. So the first term in this sequence would be 7. Now, what we want the second term in this sequence? Well, this time n is equal to 2. So we do 3 times 2 plus 4. So 3 times 2 plus 4. That would be 6 plus 4, which is 10. And we could continue to generate terms in this sequence in this way. The first two would be 7 and 10, and they would define them when we do the third one, it would be 13, then 16, etc. And we could go on forever. So that was where n was 1, that was where n is 2, that was where n is 3 because it's the third position, that's where n is 4 because it's the fourth position, etc. Now, let's do a few examples here. I want us to find the first three terms of these different sequences with these different nth term formulas. So we first got 2n plus 3. Now, what's the first term going to be? Let's try and do these in our head where we can. So the first term is where n is 1. So we do 2 times 1 plus 3. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5. So we get 5 as the first term. Then we want the next term, the second term, that's where n is 2. So we do 2 times 2 plus 3, that would be equal to 7. And then we do 2 times 3 plus 3 to get the third term. So 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3 is 9, and they would be the first three terms. And then this second one here, I've now got n squared. So I want the first term, so I do 1 squared, which would just be 1. 1 squared means 1 times 1, which is 1. What would be the next term? I want the second term, n is 2, so 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. And then I want 3 squared, which is 9, etc. And can you see that this would actually give us the square numbers? So if the nth term formula is n squared, it's going to give us the square numbers. Let's do some more. We've now got 10 minus n. What's that going to give us? Well, the first term is 10 minus 1, which is 9. The second term is 10 minus 2, which is 8. The third term is 10 minus 3, which is 7, etc. What about this fourth one? We've got 2n, n plus 3. Now let's do a bit of working this time. So the first term would be 2 times 1, because it's 2 times 1, n is 1, and then it's times by whatever this bracket is. So n plus 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, and that would be 2 times 1 times 4 is 8. What about the next one? We're going to have 2 times the second term, which is 2, times this, 2 plus 3 is 5, and that's going to be equal to 20. And then the third term is going to be 2 times n, which is 3, times n plus 3. 3 plus 3 is 6, and that's going to be 36. And then finally, we've got 3 to the n. Now, what's the first term going to be? It's 3 to the power of 1, which is 3. Then the second term is going to be 3 to the power of 2, which is 9. Then the third term, 3 to the power of 3, which is 27. And then if we want the next one, it'd be 3 to the power of 4, which is 81. Now, if we generate a sequence using a particular expression, there generally is some pattern in the numbers. So this particular sequence, you can see that we're actually multiplying by 3 each time.
And this sequence here, for example, when we had 2n plus 3, you're adding 2 each time. And you might wonder how we go in reverse. How do we take a sequence and work out an expression which would have given us that sequence? And we'll see that in subsequent videos for quadratic sequences, for example, and linear sequences as well. Now, two final questions here. Test your understanding. One, we've got 6n minus 1. I want you to work out the first three terms of that sequence. And then this second one here, we have 2 to the n plus 2n squared. You may want to pause the video at this point to have a go at these. Right, let's have a quick go at this first one. To get the first term, we just do 6 times 1 minus 1. That 6 minus 1 is 5. Then to get the second term, 6 times 2 is 12, minus 1 is 11. And the third term, 6 times 3 is 18, minus 1 is 17. Now this one is harder. We want the first term, so 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2, plus 2 times 1 squared, that's 2. And I'll simplify these in a second. Then the second term, we've got 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, plus 2 times 2 squared, that's 2 times 4, which is 8. And then the third term is 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, plus 2 times 3 squared, that's 2 times 9, which is 18. And then that just simplifies to 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 8 is 12, and then 8 plus 18 is 26. So well done if you got that right.